And Ottawa Little Theatre is going to be holding a very special preview performance of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner for an Amazing Cause. We get more details right now as we say hello to the Executive Director of Options by Town, Catherine Vanderland. Nice to have you here, Catherine. Thanks, Dylan. Nice to be here. It's been a while. We it got has. to get all up to date on 30 years plus of Options by Town. Yeah, we celebrated our 30th birthday last year. Options by Town opened its doors in 1989. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about exactly what happens at Options by Town. Why did you open up your doors all yep. those years ago? Yep. So we opened up uh, as a response to homelessness in our city, which was growing then, grows today, uh, as we know. And so we provide permanent housing, affordable housing, to people who are homeless. And uh, in addition to that housing, we wrap supports around. So we have staff on site uh, and a mobile team who provide really intensive supports to people. So when mm -hmm. they leave house, homelessness, they come um, live with us, are supported by us. and uh, Unbelievably important what you do. Extremely. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, guess who's coming to dinner? Uh, the whole run is the 12th to the 29th, of course, brought to you by Ottawa Little Theatre, which has been around 107 seasons, so they know mm -hmm. what they're doing. Uh, but this uh, preview performance is Sunday, February 9th, 2.30. I understand it's the fourth year that this has been taking place. What exactly um, are all the funds going towards your great organization? They are. So Ottawa Little Theatre, as a nonprofit theater uh, company, they uh, donate essentially their preview performance to a uh, charitable cause. So they've done this with us four times now. This is our fourth show uh, where it's a preview performance, which is why tickets aren't available on their website. They're on ours. Uh, and they, they do the performance, but we sell the tickets, we provide um, refreshments and music and mm -hmm. raffle prizes. So it's essentially a fundraiser for us mm -hmm. and the entertainment's provided by the Ottawa Little Theatre. That's wonderful. Yeah. King Edward, of course, is where you can find the Ottawa Little Theatre yes. at 401 King Edward. Why is fundraising so important to what you do? Are you not funded at all by, by anywhere else? Yeah, so we are funded. We're funded okay. to do our That's core good. operations, keep our doors open, lights on. Uh, what fundraising allows us to do is provide that quality of life element. So for us, it's a it's a core value that people come to us exactly as they are, which often means after many years of living in shelters or on the streets or couch surfing, they come with very little. Uh, so we like to provide people with some core necessities, some uh, welcome package, some apartment startup, uh, some food. Uh, we run food programs because we know having access to good quality food is difficult when you're um, living in poverty mm -hmm. so we use funds to do that uh, it also allows us to look for opportunities to expand what we do and do more of it we have a wait list of 550 people waiting to live with us wow. so uh, we're constantly fundraising and on the lookout for ways of expanding what we're doing mm -hmm. it might be tough for you to answer this but over the course of uh, 30 years how many people do you think have been touched by your services oh my gosh so at any given time right now we have about 300 people living mm -hmm. with us uh, we every month provide supports to about a thousand other people who are housed, but um, their housing can be precarious. So we, because uh, we know, you know, if we can prevent people from becoming homeless in the first place, that's the best solution. So we do that. Uh, we provide that for about a thousand people a month. So. Gosh, I don't know. Add that up yeah. over 30 years. Quite it's a, a lot of people. That's why yeah. I'm just. I just wanted to obviously drive home the fact that what you do is super important. Events like this, the funding, and when you say that there's a wait list of 500 people too, that's something that really touches you. Yeah. It shouldn't be like that. No, it shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. All right. So when it comes to this uh, big event that's happening February 9th, uh, a bit of uh, let's figure out how to get tickets because you were saying mm -hmm. that if people go a certain place, they're not available. Where, where's the best place to go? So they're on our website. Your website. Uh, www.options bytown.com there's no e in bytown okay uh, so they're right there on our website or they can call us 613-241-6363 is the okay. phone number uh, and that's where yeah they'll get tickets so or at the door the day of the production the production starts at 2 30 on february 9th mm -hmm. but that's a risk though because something like this i'm sure people want to come out and help they need yeah. to get their tickets in advance yeah, it's best to get them in advance, but they are <laughs> usually there at the door as yeah, well. Okay. Yeah, okay. So optionsbytown.com to get tickets. More information, of course, on the, the show and, um, uh, of course, all the good things that uh, Ottawa Little Theatre does, ottawalittletheatre.com. Uh, 30 seconds left here. If people can't make the show, what's the best way to help out Options by Town? Uh, again, if they go on our website, there's uh, sections there that um, if they're interested in volunteering, if they're interested in donating, we take uh, financial donations items to help people again start up apartments so perfect. there's lots of ways to help perfect Catherine thank you very much have fun at the show thank you Appreciate your time and thank you for being here as always